number one source for children's news stories. Welcome to Tuesday. I wanted to let you know all month long kids across Canada have been getting their science on. What does that mean? Well, we have let's uh, with more on Let's Talk Science, we have Daniel actually in the field. Let's go check him check him out. Hey, what's up TVO kids? Daniel here and I'm at the Let's Talk Science Challenge here at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, and we are talking all about science and doing cool experiments. So I have my friend Furiel and we are doing a little experiment with Team Minions! So tell us a little bit about this experiment. Um, so this is a carbon dioxide experiment and basically what we do is we mix baking soda with vinegar to produce carbon dioxide and Whoa, that is so cool! And all these materials are safe to use and safe to like smell. You want to smell the vinegar to make sure it's vinegar, right? Yeah. Cool, so let's go over to the other side and see how this experiment works! Okay, let's check it out. So the balloon contains... Baking soda. Right? And then the bottle has... Vinegar. Amazing. So we put it together. Let's check it out. Ready? Three, two, one! Let's see it happen. Oh, slow process. <laughs> so I need to see the best TVO kids, <laughs> check it out. That is so cool. And it's happening on the other side. Okay, let's go in the middle here. And okay, so what can you see this? Like, how can this apply to real world situations? What do you guys think? Um, you could use it if you if you're having a party and you're tired. You can just use it to just blow up your balloon. <laughs> right, right. And what else? What else can you think of? Um. You could also use it for, like, if you were testing your washroom. Right. Like, if you put it like this. Yes. Yeah, and the gas leaks, yeah. right? That is so cool. Let's hold it up. One more time. Check these out, TV okay You guys should try it at home because it's so much fun. Thank you guys for showing me this awesome experiment. some inflatable science. Thanks, Daniel, and cool name, Team Minions. All right, um, in other news, it's music week here in the space, and to uh, give us the hottest trends, we have Gossip Gabby here in the studio. Hey, Kara! Gabby, oh. Hi, Gabby. Hi. What, what's trending? Okay, well, in music, lots of things are trending right now, but particularly acapella music is super hot. I don't know what that means, though. Gabby, out. Well, we're going to find out what acapella means, I guess, up after Doki, right here in the music week space. Me, 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 me. I gotta practice a bit more. Cause it's music week in the space. TVO Kids and welcome to TVO K News. I am your news anchor, Melissa. The breaking news in the art scene this week is Music Week has been on all week long in the space. That's right, uh, we've checked out various types of music, different genres, and today is all about gospel music. I cannot, oh, what is that? Oh, this just in, Let's Talk Science has been happening all around Canada for the past month, and Daniel has a special scientific report. Let's check it out. Daniel. Hey, what's up, TVO kids? Daniel here at the Let's Talk Science Challenge here at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, and we are doing a little experiment with my friend, Arshdeep, as well as the Sherwood Heights students. Woo! Yay! Okay, so what experiment is this? Okay, so this is basically a pH experiment. Okay, and what does that mean? So that essentially means, so pH essentially means how acidic or how basic any substance is. Ooh, okay, so how are we gonna do this? Okay, so it's super simple. So basically we use red cabbage. Ooh, red cabbage, delicious! Delicious. Okay, and what do you do with it? So essentially, we boil water. Okay. Um, and we put red cabbage in the boiling water. That's what we have here. Delicious. After which we strain it with a strainer. We strain it, and then we get this cool bluish, purpley color over Absolutely, here. Absolutely, which is your buffer. Yeah, and then after we add the solutions mm -hmm. to it, they should turn one of these colors, right? Correct. So the red means what? The red means that's more acidic. And the other side and means? And the other side means it's more basic. Okay, so let's try it out. So each of these students have a different solution. So let's go uh, over to them. So what's your name? My name is Tajem. Yes, and your name? My name is Swarit. Amazing, and what solution do you have here? Right here I have lemon. Lemon, okay, let's mix it with the base. I mean, sorry, what was this? The cabbage. Right, the cabbage. Okay, let's mix that together. Let's see what color. Whoa, check this out. What do you think it is? I think it's acidic because it's really pink. Definitely, that is so cool. Let's move over to the next one. What's your name? My name's Arshnor and I have milk. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it work. Okay. 
Ooh, that's a little hard to tell because it melts. Oh, but it's turning a little purpley, right? So what do you think it is? I think it's basic because, because it's more of purple. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Okay, next one. What do you have over here? Uh, my name is Neil and I have cola. Oh, delicious cola. Okay, so let's see it in action. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what is it? What do you think it is? Uh, I think it chart. is uh, acidic. Yeah, it's a little city. It's a little red, right? Yeah. Amazing. And last but not least, we have bleach. Now, TVO kids, if you're using bleach, be sure to get a parent or adult to uh, help you out because it can be a little irritating. So, okay, let's check this out. Whoa! Instantly, as you can see, it turns that, like, greenish pink color, right? Uh, sorry, greenish yellow, right? Mm -hmm. So that means it is... Basic. Basic! That is so amazing. Thank you so much for doing the experiment with me, you guys. Wave goodbye! There you have it, science, science, I love it. I also love music and want you to call in and tell me why you love music after Magic School Bus. Me, 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 me. I gotta practice a bit more. Cause it's music week in the space. Now TVO kids, what do Hamza and I have in common? We are both looking cool right now. <laughs> Welcome back to the Space TVO Kids. You are hanging out with Daniel. That was look cool. Coming up next is finding stuff out. But before we get to that, a few weeks ago, I got to go to the Let's Talk Science Challenge and it was so cool. It blew my mind. So let's roll the clip on that. Hey TVO kids, Daniel here, and I'm at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, at the Let's Talk Science Challenge, and the teams are just about to receive their challenge, so I want to check in with them. Okay, let's go. I'm here with the Sherwood Heights students for the Let's Talk Science event, and uh, we have this mysterious box. Like, we do not know what's in here, right? So what is your challenge? So our challenge is basically to make a mechanical hand okay. that can pick up a starfish, and we start from the table, and we Starfish, which is on the floor. Okay. From 30 centimeters. Okay, let's see what is in the box. We have a face mask. We have earplugs. What is that, TVO kids? We don't know, but we're gonna use it. We have stripey tape. So, the robotic arms must be operated without directly touching the arms. And it must include a minimum of three working joints, and the arm must grab and let go of the starfish, which are the earplugs. So it's basically that our hand is gonna come off the table, right. and it's gonna go down to the floor to yeah. pick up the starfish. Like we can attach these two plastic right. hands together, so we can actually stretch that much. They only have a couple of minutes left. Check it out. It is taking shape right now. Check out the final product. This is their mechanical arm. So cool, I also have a mechanical arm. TVO kids, well, we are gonna be playing another game called word o -rama coming up next, so be sure to give me a call coming up after finding stuff out. The Space.